our filing, okay? Now, you're exactly right. Everything you're saying is right. There is some kind of conspiracy or something going on because today in court, you know, my attorney's like saying pretty much the same thing I was saying, you know, and I sat there and watched them for 15 minutes complain about something that happened in 1990. And then, of course, they do like they were, well, he was uh, arrested for 183 or, you know, well, you know, it's like they just start talking in numbers so the people in the gallery can't see how pitiful it is. Um, earlier this morning, I'm leaving out of the courtroom because, you know, I had this parking ticket to deal with and I'm dealing with this other stuff. And I come across this dude. I swear this, this person looked like there's about 10 years old. I, okay. 15, 20 years old. The guy was real super young looking. I'm like, dude, do me a favor. And this was a Mexican dude. I'm like, I don't want to ever see you in this place again. This place is bad news, man. What the hell they got you walking out of here looking stressed out for? And this dude was young. And he said he got a ticket for blocking the sidewalk. And I'm like, how come the officer just didn't tell you to move your car? He said he was standing on the sidewalk. Um, to give somebody a fine or a ticket for standing on the sidewalk, of course, you know, come on, he had to be standing out. Look like he might have looked like he was getting something or doing something wrong. Fine, okay, fine, but. To give somebody a ticket for standing on the sidewalk when you can say, come on, don't stand here, move along. But to purposely stop and detain somebody and hold them long enough for them to go through everything in their wallet and check them and search them and can't find nothing and you give them a ticket for standing on the sidewalk. Um, another Hispanic woman was going into a courtroom. She's like a first year paralegal. She must have been about 60 years old. The um, daughter-in-law called the police and told the police that the husband was abusing the kids. When did this happen, ma'am? It's happening right now. He's abusing the kids. Get here. Son gets home. 30 police cars. Got him all locked up for domestic violence and everything. But, funny part about this is, the man was playing in a soccer game. All this goes down and there's a soccer field with 200 people and he just played in the game. He gets home from soccer and he's done deal, he's done. Beat up his wife. Slap the kids around. Done. Done. They was getting a divorce, and she wanted the kids. At the soccer game. Got video. That don't matter. This kid said you slapped him around. Wife's doing. You're done. Done. It's not just black people. From where I'm sitting. From what I see. When I go back to the hood. They're letting them run them up. They're letting them kids run a muck in pockets. They got them in pockets. <laughs> and then whenever they want to, they know the brother's going to run. 75% of the time, they, come on. All they got is they hustle. If it ain't weed, it's dope, or, you know, man, I go back to the hood, ain't nobody working. Those that did was good, good men trying to work and do the right thing, they, they on the hustle now. So what's going to happen? I'll be in a few seconds. So what's going to happen? What's going to happen is these young people are going to run the first sight of something. You look like somebody. Like the whole people talk about my little situation. I still got the little knot is still there. Ain't going on or down all the way. Still put the hot and cold compress on like I'm told. Cost me a thousand dollars to have my arm looked at. They know what they did for the thousand dollar? The 
first time in my adult life, I got to go apply for benefits. I got to go apply for aid. Um, a lot of people say, well, your wife has a great job. Da, da, da. I might be living with my wife. <laughs> I ain't living on my wife. People fail to realize it is hard for everybody. And when you got a, a, a target on you, it's even harder. Like she talking about black people getting laid off in her video. Show you what I got here. I don't have it in one of these folders now. That is not good. I was going to show you again the picture of the black ducks and the big old bubble on the side that said niggers that I received at work two years ago, about two years ago now. I haven't had a real job since then. And that job was six months at a time. Somebody gives me a letter with a, a, a picture that said niggers on it and I no longer work there. They still have their jobs for the county. I mean, if there's not something wrong with the system, then you know what the problem is? If I'm a black man and I truly want black people to survive, then I have to put forth a major, major deal, something real. Like maybe a big time record company, big time moguls. Maybe I could do one of them things and help the black community. But instead, the black leaders that we have are people in the music industry. They're all pop culture icons already. What they do? You can buy a basketball team, but how many people are you going to have hired and what they going to make? You can buy a chain of movie theaters, but you have to be an equal opportunity employer. What can you possibly do if you've got something to help your people? Whatever your people are, whoever your people may be, what can you do to help your people? Become a lawyer and write laws. You can't sit back idle and waiting for some a miracle nigga to pop up. You will never see another Martin Luther King because every man who speaks up from now on out will be breaking the law. You have to speak the language of the country in order to change the country, in order to make the country conform. You must learn to speak the language of the country you're in. You just can't inhabitate the country and expect to get ahead. You must learn to speak the language or you will always be a second class citizen, no matter if you was born here or not. The problem with our people is we don't speak that language. And when one of us does grow up to speak the language, he gets shot down. You can talk all the negativity and they'll love you for it. But once you include every man in your vocabulary, you're wrong. You could be a successful person in your own, but to be successful in the whole realm, the whole scope, is virtually impossible. Understand what I mean by the whole scope. Does Bill Cosby own CBS? No. Buff Daddy own Virgin Airlines? No. You can be a million judges, but the judges have to follow the laws. You can have a president on your own side, but he still has to follow the law. You have to speak the language in the country you inhabit. In order to get ahead in that country, you have to play their game. In order to play the game, you got to be on the team. Thank you for your time. And if anybody found any knowledge in this, pass it on. Come on, evil doggy. Let's take over the world. Let's take over the world, doggy. The world. taking too long sometimes, but I'm trying to get my whole 10 minutes. They're going to probably cut the video to 8. Yes, YouTube does censor